Hi guys, this is Duke from Catch, and I'm going to walk you through the installation today of our new platform specific bow mount system for the Hobie PA platform. The tools required for this setup are going to be an imperial set of Allen wrenches and a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so let me walk you through what you're going to get from us. This right here is the base plate. This is our upright plate. These two bolts are going to be the replacement bolts for your handle bolts. These are going to be the hardware that you use to attach the upright to the base plate. Right here you have two spacers which you're going to use to retain the straps on the lid. And these are the screws that you're going to use to replace the wood screws or trilobial screws that are used to fasten the strap to the butt, to the deck. Fuck! The trilobial screws to attach the spacer and the straps to the hull. All right, the first step in this whole process is gonna be removing the stock handle. You're gonna need a quarter inch Allen wrench to do that. The first step is gonna to be to attach the upright to the base plate. Now, I'm exaggerating this a little bit, but this wants to be tilted a little bit forward. There's a machined angle on this upright, which is going to give you the correct angle of attack for the motor. So again, this thing wants to be pointed just a little bit forward. This is not a unidirectional part. This part has a right and wrong way to be installed. We're going to attach it now to the upright. All right, guys, now that we have them all hand started, we're going to just hand tighten. All right, again, and then just confirm. See that angle? There's a slight angle raked forward. Now we're ready to take this assembly and install it on the boat. Now that we have the motor mount assembled, the first, the easiest way to do this is to put these Phillips head trilobial screws right into these holes. And what you're gonna wanna do is feed the strap through. Now, these straps actually have two holes on them. This can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but you're gonna go ahead and force it through. And we're going to repeat the process on the opposite side. If it doesn't work really well, now I've done this a bunch of times on this boat and it's still kind of difficult. Uh, you can just thread it a little bit. If you just twist it a little bit, it'll kind of go through the holes a little bit easier. All right. Now that that headache's over, we're going to go ahead and take the spacers and we're gonna go and throw them on the screws. All right, so now that we have the spacers on the screw, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to try to hit the factory holes. As you can see from this shot of B-roll, I have obviously missed several times. There have been about 15 different iterations of mount on this boat, so I have some holes. All this can be fixed with some simple Plasti Weld. You can melt a milk jug on it and, and sand it down and it's just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and try to spot these holes in the centermost locations that we have right here. And once we get lined up, all I want you to do is make two full thread turns into the hole to save the location. But really the location of this whole mount is gonna be dictated by the next step. Now we're gonna take the handle bolts and we're gonna return the handle assembly and we're gonna snug this up. For this, you're gonna need the quarter inch Allen wrench. One thing to think about with this thing is these holes are about spot on and you might have some kind of semi threading going on in this plastic right here. So if you have to, you might just need to like almost thread them into the hole and you wanna make sure that it protrudes pretty far because you're gonna have a spacer that needs to go on the port side. So go ahead and seat them all the way against the, against the plastic. Now we come to the secret of this whole system, which is this little shim. The, there's a little bit of a draft in the mold that actually, if you bolt square to this, you're about six degrees to the port side. So the way we accommodate that is we use a spacer and you're gonna have to install the spacer 
between the motor mount and the hull. If you put this between the handle and the motor mount, it doesn't, isn't gonna do anything. So this, you need to install this between the motor mount and the hull. And we're gonna go ahead and install the whole assembly. So all I'm gonna do is hand snug all this up. Now we can go ahead and firmly tighten the back strap bolts. See how it slides down a little bit? You don't need to get crazy with this. It's just a trilobial screw. And it's, it doesn't really bear the load. Everything is bared in here on these handle bolts. And then we're just gonna go and finish up about one more quarter turn on these front bolts. And that's it. It also bears mentioning that these are brass fittings in the front. And if you ruin them, they are ruined forever, unless you want to go out and buy a tap and try to retap them. But be careful when you install the handle bolts. We've got the mount installed and now it's ready for your bow propulsion motor guide or Minn Kota quick release systems. The square styles with the stainless steel U-bolt that locks it in place are going to work and be compatible with this setup, as well as our forthcoming quick release. We hope you enjoy your motorized Hobie. I know I have for the last couple years, and I hope to see you guys out on the water. Tight lines.